you'll notice that all lies on you. Bust it open, oh. I'ma throw a prize on oh. you. When them lies. Hey guys, what's up? This is Doc back in with another tutorial. And today's tutorial is going to be about how to make a lighting studio in Cinema 4D R13. So let's get started. Um, we're actually going to be making it from scratch. So to start off with, we're going to start with the rendering settings. And for rendering settings, we're going to go to output, presets, screen or film and video. I rather film and video. And we're going to go to HDV 1080p HDV TV, HD TV 1080p 25 frames per second. And whatever you save it as is whatever you want. If you're doing video, I would say save it as um MOV file but if you're planning on exporting it to put inside of another document either PSD or PNG okay let's go to effects we're gonna add MD occlusion and we're gonna add global illumination now in global illumination we're gonna change the GI mode to IR plus QMC still image and catchy settings we're gonna set to low low and hmm, we can actually leave that as so let's go ahead and exit and then we're gonna start off with a cube okay so now we have a cube and on this cube for the x coordinates x size coordinates we're gonna go to 4000 for y we're gonna do 2000 and for Z we're going to do 3000 and zoom out okay so now we have this large huge box so let's just position this up some should be the Y coordinate up a thousand is it nope position my bad let's go up there we go okay so now that we have the cube above the plane floor what we're going to do is we're going to delete this front side so you can either press C or click here to make it edible click here polygon mode click the front delete then we're going to click edges Control A. I'm not sure what that is on a Mac. Um, after that, what we're going to do is right click, bevel, and for the bevel settings for the subdivision, we're going to change it to five. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we're going to change the type to convex. So we're just going to zoom in here so we can see and we're going to bevel it out just a little bit not too too much about right there okay let's switch back to the model mode and then we're going to just slap a random material on here just to give it a look so now we have this partial studio so if we render out right now, you really can't see anything because there's no light. So we're going to create some lights. And by creating lights, what we're going to do is we're going to create another cube. Let's drag it over here to work with it so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to take this cube and we're going to change the Y coordinates to 1. So now we have a flat square. Now with this flat square, we're going to change it to, let's try 600 by 600. Mm, that looks good. OK. So now that we have one cube. We're going to go to MoGraph, Cloner Object. 
we're going to drag this cube into the cloner. Mm. What's the cloner fix? It should be fine. All right, let's drag it over. And on the cloner, what we're going to do is we're going to change the mode to grid array. We're going to change the count to three, one, three. And we're just going to split these up some. Pull it on the little tabs so we get it nice and even. So basically, this is our main studio light. So we're going to slap another texture on here name it lights and just keep track on name this studio floor okay so on the lights we're gonna edit the material turn off color turn off specular and we're gonna go for luminance and on luminance we're gonna turn the brightness up to 300 and that will give us our lighting so what we're going to do with these two is we are going to select the cube and the cloner object we're going to go to tools arrange objects center I'm just going to click middle on all of these apply so now it's been centered Click live and let's move it back over some. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to click out so that we can reselect and we're going to reselect the cloner object. Zoom in, rotate so you can see the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag this cloner object or the lights until it just goes away in the ceiling. So by doing that we can then see right when it hits the ceiling so right past the ceiling and that will give us our lighting and as you can see it lights up the box very very nicely so now we need something to test so let's make a quick text real quick. MoGraph, MoTex, MoTex, Mo Money, HDRI Studio, and let's just go with Pepsi. Let's try five hundred. Mm, slightly too big that looks good let's give it some depth Ooh, wrong one let's make it even at 200 okay let's slap a texture on here Pick a color, let's say red. Personally, I don't even like red that much, but okay. And let's go to reflection. Now for reflection, let's make it, let's do 30 on reflection. Texture, change it to Fresno and make it a 20% mix. Okay, so we have that. Let's move this up. Move it back. Let's see how it looks on the floor. Ah, uh, one more thing. 
want to go ahead and select cube which is the studio so let's rename this studio floor and what we're going to do is we're going to go to tags cinema 40 tags and compositing now in compositing we're on to unselect self shadowing okay so let's get this text in our view and let's render out. And as you can see, the text gets a nice bit of reflection. The floor is getting shadowing and it's really looking pretty good. And just to show you the reflection a little bit more we're going to go back to the text and put on some caps some fillet caps and we're going to do two centimeters each well let's try three see how that looks so now you can really see the lights reflecting off of the fillet caps So that's one light and let's actually do one more type of lighting. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off these top lights by selecting both these little switches two times each. So I'm going to rename this light one and we're going to make another cube. Let's just kind of do this one by hand let's see how big that is mm, that looks pretty good so we're going to take this chain size Y to 1 again place back inside of another cloner object cloner mode grid array 313 split it up about right there Let's go ahead and try to eyeball center this. Slap the light texture on it. Recenter. And if you don't like recentering, you can actually slap a camera on it and then you can either just press in the timeline or you can lock the camera with cinema 4d tags and protection and the camera will not move even if you move around and now as you see we have a different type of lighting and to change the intensity of the lighting is very very easy just click on lighting luminance and you can really change it as you wish and by doing so you can change also the color of the lighting Just give it a bluish tint. So if you kind of keep playing with it, you can pretty much get some pretty good and fun renders. So really, you just got to play with it. And also one trick that I like to do so since we're in the studio and 
majority of the time light boxes are pretty pretty huge so what I really like to do is let's turn this one off generally for that I would make another cube stretch it out about like that change this to one Mm, let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's bring it over here. Let's rotate it. Let's try to rotate it 45 degrees. Let's put it up in this corner. really doesn't have to be exactly perfect so let's just say put it right there make sure it goes all the way along the box and slap another light texture on it and let's go ahead and render it out Uh, let's change this back to pure white. And as you can see, it gives the nice look of a softbox. And also, in working in you know studios like these if you have any problems with dark corners especially along the top what I usually generally do is I'll make a quick light and I'll just push it over to the corner real quick once I have in that corner I'll just turn the intensity down to about 50 and it's usually pretty good So there you go guys, any questions, comment, rate, and subscribe, and if you have any ideas for other tutorials, please let me know. Deuces. Oh.